Customers always judge a book by its cover, so you need the best covers to stand out. One of my favorite AI tools, Ideogram, has recently had an update and some of the results are mind blowing. In this video, I'll be walking you through outstanding covers with Ideogram 2.0. Now I've already covered Ideogram in many videos on this channel. You do have commercial license to use it even if you've got the free account. So you can actually use the covers you create or you can just use them for idea generation and then send it off to a freelancer. But let's take a look at some of the covers I've been creating using this tool. So first of all, I wanted to start off by creating a bold and easy coloring book. These are very popular on Amazon and there's several books with very low BSRs. So the design I wanted to create was a stress relief, bold and easy coloring book. And it has a lot of images around it related to calming things. And I think it's done a great tool to generate these images for the cover. You can see the spelling is correct in all of them. We've got the bold and easy coloring book quite clear underneath. And then we've got the brand name cute colors class above. And the prompt for this was, you can see it right here. It says the book cover features playful and coloring design with a blue background. It includes illustrations of a teddy bear, cup of tea, red boots, hearts, postage stamp with a tulip, various flowers and a cozy panda. Then we've got the title, stress relief in a bold black font with a bold and easy coloring book underneath and then we've got the author's name cute coloring class in a cursive font and i went with the kind of square page dimensions which is one by one as you can see here above and make sure that you do have ideogram 2.0 turned on for the best results Next, I wanted to create a dinosaur coloring book, which are very popular on Amazon. So I really wanted a cover that I felt would stand out. And I think it's done a fantastic job with these covers here. I think my favorite is probably the first one just here on the left. But let me know which one you think is your favorite. And you can also see the prompt here that I've used to create this cover. If you are struggling to come up with prompts, then just use ChatGPT as your guide. But it is basically the book cover features a fierce, a detailed illustration of a T-Rex in a lush jungle setting with vibrant green and red foliage. The title dinosaur coloring book is prominently displayed at the top in bold white colors with a slight shadow. The bottom right indicates the target range of six to 12 in a playful font and the overall design is dynamic and adventurous, appealing to children interested in dinosaurs. Now this next design, 99 Calmness coloring book is based on this coloring book on Amazon. That's doing really, really well. So I wanted to come up with my own unique design based on that. It is always important to create your own unique designs as we've done here. So we've got the 99 Calmness coloring book at the top and then we've got the words relaxing book to calm your mind just below. Unfortunately, in the fourth design here, it didn't come up with the title or the subtitle, but sometimes Ideogram does that. And if we just take a look at the prompt, we can see here a peaceful beach cartoon scene at sunset with two empty chairs facing the ocean. The title 99 Calmness Coloring Book is in large, bold, cursive letters at the top with a subtitle at the bottom that says relaxing book to calm your mind and the cover creates a calm and soothing feeling. So another unique feature of Ideogram 2.0 is the color palette. So if we just copy and paste the prompt into the prompt box, and then if we look to the right here, we've actually got a colored palette. So this allows you to choose your preferred image colors, and just using this alone will allow you to create even more unique covers. So I tried it with the Ember color palette and you can see the results here with these stunning covers. I would say the first one to the left is my favorite, but let me know which one you like the most. Then I also tried the same prompt in a different dimension, so one by one. And that's another thing you can do to differentiate yourself from other books and it also created these stunning designs. After this, I wanted to create a floral coloring book design as these do quite well on Amazon. So I went with something with a black background, then flowers in front with 101 flowers adult coloring book as a title, and then Danny's coloring book as the brand. 
I wanted a much more kind of simplistic, minimalistic cover design, and I'm quite happy with the results that it's produced. And you can see the prompt that I've used for it just here, which is a colorful, realistic bunch of flowers in a vase on a black background. The big title says 101 Flowers Adult Coloring Book with the author's name, Danny's Coloring Book brand written at the bottom. The cover is bright and eye-catching, focusing on the flowers. After this, I wanted to change it up from coloring books. So this time I did activity books and I wanted to base it off this book cover, aeroplane activity book for kids four to eight. And these are the stunning designs that Ideogram created for me. I definitely feel that it's a level above the cover on Amazon. And they are all particularly eye-catching. There are one or two errors on the cover, but again, these can be erased easily using other tools. But to create these images, the prompt that I used was a fun cover with an airplane in the center and colorful travel items like a camera, map, suitcase around it with a royal blue background. I wanted something to differentiate it from the other cover on Amazon, so that's why I went with the royal blue background. The big title says airplane activity book in a handwritten font for kids four to eight written underneath the cover is bright and playful designed for kids who like travel and airplanes and i think it's really displayed that in each of the images so it shows that this tool is not only great for coloring book covers but it can do activity book covers too next i wanted to test out another different type of cover and this was in the would you rather niche. I just wanted the text and a facial expression on the cover. So to get this, I put in the prompt a bright orange cover with a funny cartoon face making a silly expression. The big title says, would you rather book for kids in a large bold font? And underneath it says there are 500 plus hilarious, silly and challenging questions to make you laugh. Then the author name Danny on demand at the bottom. Now these covers weren't too bad. However, they looked pretty plain to me. So what I asked for next with the prompt is I wanted some emojis and question marks in the background just to make the cover a little bit more interesting. And it produced these results which aren't too bad, but let me know what you think in the comments. Again, there are a few little errors here and there, but they can be erased using any other tool. So the final design I wanted to test out is another really popular niche on Amazon, and these are cookbooks. So first, what I tried was a Mediterranean diet cookbook design. And I think these actually turned out really well with some eye-catching and unique designs. It is really amazing to think how far AI has come that you can create fantastic covers like this in a space of a few seconds. Again, these aren't gonna be perfect. There are always little things that can be improved, but let's say you put that into Canva and just erased a few parts and then added text just to improve it. But it's the basis of a really good cover. You can see the prompt that I put in here it's a little bit more challenging so we've got a colorful cover with pictures of healthy Mediterranean food like salad fish and shrimp then we've got the title Mediterranean a diet cookbook for beginners it also mentions 1800 plus days of tasty and easy recipes and a 30-day meal plan the year 2024 is written at the bottom the cover is designed to show healthy and easy recipes for beginners so i think it's done a solid job it's a much more tougher job with a lot more text and things to do but it has the foundations of a great cover and i also wanted to test it out with a keto cookbook which I tried in two different dimensions. So first we've got one by one, which gives you that kind of square fun size book, but I really like these covers. I think they are attractive and eye-catching. However, the first two, there are mistakes repeating the keto twice and with the normal 8.5 by 11 cookbooks, which is three by four. Again, it's produced some really attractive covers. There are a few mistakes here and there, but these covers would do well on Amazon. And for the prompt, I just put in a 
colorful cover with pictures of healthy keto meals like grilled chicken, avocado, and salad. The big title says a super easy keto diet book for beginners and mentions over 60 recipes. Also highlights 30 day meal plan and 2000 plus days of low carb, low sugar recipes. And the author name Danny on demand is at the bottom. So I hope you agree that Ideogram 2.0 is really great for creating outstanding covers. Don't limit yourself to just one type of cover, but really push Ideogram's abilities to create different types of covers. Let me know which cover was your favorite in the comments and if you're using the tool as well.